Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to teach you all about how to make balloon swords from a beginner's perspective. We're going to walk you through the process of creating your very first sword balloon. We're going to actually teach you two easy variations. From there, we're going to teach you a slightly more advanced version. And finally, we're going to teach you a larger two balloon sword. So got your balloons in hand. Let's get started. Let's make your first balloon sword. First, take your long balloon and inflate it and leave a little bit of uninflated end. I only have about an inch here. So think of putting your hand on here. You want a handle maybe about this long. And to do that, we're going to create what's called a basic twist. Now watch what I do here to make the twist. I'm actually gonna squeeze with my left hand and then twist with my right. When you squeeze, it makes it a lot easier to twist. So most people, when I see beginners, they just try and twist the balloon. You have to pinch first, and then that makes it a lot easier. Simply rotate the balloon. Now, here's something you need to know. Now, if I let go of my left hand, see it pops out. And so there's a technique you have to use. So once again, let me make this again. I'm gonna pinch, twist. Now, watch my left hand. It moves over and holds this because if it didn't, if I don't hold this, it's going to pop out. Now we're going to make the first of two hand guards using what's called a full twist. You want a hand guard maybe about that big. So what we're going to do is continue to hold here and fold and then hold with the left hand. Notice how my left hand is holding, very important. Otherwise, this would just want to straighten out. Now, right here, I'm going to grab and twist and meanwhile with this hand I'm going to press in to make it easier to twist so here we go so squeeze twist and that's the first hand guard and we're going to do the same thing again to match so and notice this point I don't have to hold the balloon anymore because this fold twist actually locked things in one more fold twist I'm going to fold this is we did last time try and make it match in size to the first one hold with the left hand twist just and you will have your very first balloon sword Now notice something when we had the uninflated end, notice how the balloon filled up and made one nice soar. So as you twist, it actually displaces air and it has to go somewhere, otherwise the balloon will tighten and eventually pop. So that's why we allowed for uninflated end. Now I'm gonna show you how to make a saber sword. So what you do is you start out by inflating, leave only about a half inch or an inch of uninflated end. We're gonna start at the nozzle end. You're gonna make a basic twist. You're gonna make a very small basic twist of about an inch. Now watch what I do. I'm gonna hold with my left hand and then watch my right hand. We're gonna squeeze or pinch with the fingers. So pinch and then this hand twists the balloon. Now watch what happens though if I let go of my left hand here, the balloon pops out. So it's important to first pinch, twist. Now watch my left hand, see it walks over and grabs the balloon there. Now I can go to the next step. We're going to create what's called a fold twist. And what's involved is we're going to fold the balloon here. Thus the name, right there. In order to make the folders, there's two ways, but the easiest way is to fold it here, and then we're gonna make another twist right here. So watch my left hand, I'm gonna squeeze, and then I'm going to twist this entire structure. Turn. There you have a fold twist. 
Now the next part is to take the end of your balloon and place it through the opening here. And there you have a saber sword. This gives you more of a this kind of kind of motion with the sword. And there's uh, two variations on this basic sword. You can keep it like this or bend this blade the other way. Just like that. And I think you can see how it gives you a slightly different look. Now I taught you how to make the basic sword balloon by just holding and making two fold twists, but there's a faster way to do this and I'm gonna teach that to you in this segment. So what you're going to do is you're going to hold and you're going to make something of a, a uh, S from your perspective. So I bend it in half, bend it in half again, and see how we have something of an S or for you a uh, reverse Z. Now what we're going to do is think of a line that runs right here. Now you're going to kind of push them together just like this so they're all aligned next to each other and in that imaginary line that I showed you here you're actually going to do a big squeeze and and twist. Here we go. So so pinch, twist. And in that one motion I was able to make both hand guards. Now when you make swords, kids and even adults will have fun fighting it out with these swords. And these things tend to, tend to bend and get out of shape. So if you want to stabilize this, here's what you do. There's a twist called a pinch twist and I will show you how to make that here. What you're going to do is we're going to make a small basic twist so pinch, hold, twist. Now, you bend in half. You're gonna take this, you're gonna kinda of hold it, pull it up, and then twist it. And that will create a pinch twist. So watch how I do that. There, and we're going to repeat. So. Small basic twist. Kind of fold and hold it in half. Then you're going to just grab this basic twist, kind of pull and then twist. It's gonna feel a little tight when you first do this. Make your adjustments. If you can see the fold to it, the fold twists and the pinch twist here. I like the pinch twist to go up vertically and of course the fold tw twist out and now you have a much more stable basic sword. Now we're going to take the sword balloon one step further. Now you created a basic sword here with two fold twists that create the hand guard. Of course you can make a third fold twist to turn this into what I call a foil. So all you have to do is allow for a little less uninflated end or more uninflated end at, as you inflate the balloon and then make one more fold twist. But as you might expect, there's a faster way to do that. If you watched the earlier part of the video where I showed you how to make the two hand guards in one motion, you can actually make three of them at one time. So I'm gonna teach you how to do that here. I think you can figure out how to make one more fold twist to make the foil. So. We're going to make not only a S, but we're gonna add one more twist, uh, one more fold in. So, we're gonna bend, bend, bend. So you have something like this, maybe a M. Now remember, there's an imaginary line right about here. You're going to twist in between all of these layers. So hold. Pinch and twist. And right there is what I call a foil. And you've made it in one motion. 
Now this is a really cool jeweled sword. So you need to have quite a bit of uninflated end here, four or five inches. You're gonna start out with two pinch twists. Starting at the nozzle end, make a small basic twist. Hold it, and you're gonna make a pinch twist. And you have your first pinch twist. Now you're gonna make a second pinch twist to match. Fold it, grab it, pull up a little and twist. Now you're gonna make the handle itself. So think of holding this, make a basic twist and hold. Now comes the complicated part. You're going to be making two small basic twists, a slightly larger basic twist, and then two small ones to match the first two. So five twists in all with the middle one being slightly bigger. So let me show you that. And remember that each time you make a basic twist, you're not making any lock twists for a while here, so you have to keep creeping this hand over to hold. One. Two. Three, and a little bigger. And then these next two will match these two here. You have something that looks like this. Now you're going to twist these two sections together. And that forms your lock twist. Now you're gonna repeat on this side so I won't go through the counting. Let me just finish this up. And there, I think you see the sword right now. There's one more detail that we like to do. Remember we made that, that uh, middle base twist a little bigger. You can leave it just like this, and I think it looks pretty cool, like a jeweled sword. But what I like to do is turn this into a pinch twist. So let me show you that. And there, now you can see them side by side. See how I made the pinch twist here, and I didn't over here. So it depends on which look you like. So I'm gonna finish this with a pinch twist. And there you have a jeweled balloon sword. I've saved the best sword for last. You're going to need two balloons. I'm gonna use gray here for the blade of the sword, and then I have a green sword here that will form the handle. Now the gray balloon is inflated almost all the way to the end. The green balloon for the handle is inflated to about uh, three inches from the end, but you won't be using the entire balloon. So let's get started with the blade. Take your fully inflated balloon that you're going to use for the blade and fold it in half. Find the midpoint and make a basic twist. From here, you're going to twist the balloon. So let me show you what that looks like. You're gonna hold with this hand, depending on which one you like, and then you're going to use this hand in between these balloons and twist them all the way to the end. It's probably easier to demonstrate than it is to explain. So watch my hand, I'm gonna use this motion and I'm going to twist them and as I twist down, I'm gonna hold it with this hand. See how that works? I'm holding over here, by the way, otherwise it would come undone. And take these two ends and twist them together. Take your second balloon and we're gonna start with two pinch twists as we did in the uh, earlier jeweled sword. I'll go through this very quickly because I, I explained the pinch twist there. Now you're gonna make the handle. Now you're going to make a basic twist and a 
pinch twist and another basic twist. But we're gonna do this in three segments. So you're gonna make three basic twists, two longer and one in the middle shorter and then fold it all together. Small basic twist. Notice I'm using my body to hold here. Um, then fold. And there you have a hand guard, a little fancier here with a basic twist, basic twist, and a small one here. And you can turn this into a pinch twist, which is really cool. So once you're gonna do the same thing with the other side, now that wouldn't be much of a sword. <laughs> but you can take this and take some scissors, find a little slack in here and cut it off. I'm gonna use the advanced technique. Tie it. Now you can take your blade, you're gonna take these two twists here and twist it into the base of the handle. So you can watch me do that. And there you have a two balloon sword that will be very popular with the kids. If you had trouble with popping, Check your fingernails, make sure there are no sharp edges or burrs there. The other thing is the quality of your balloons. Now, when I make balloons here in these videos, I'm using high quality balloons made specifically for this purpose. They're thicker than average balloons. But for something this simple, you should be able to be make swords out of uh, balloons you buy at your dollar store. Just keep in mind that they will not withstand as much stress as a high-end balloon such as this one. The other thing is, consider the quality of your balloons uh, from the standpoint of their condition. If uh, your balloons have been sitting around the house for a long time, they're brittle, sometimes you can barely even inflate them and they will pop. So if you have old balloons, try and get newer balloons and that should solve your issue. Hope you're having fun making these balloons for your friends and family and maybe even at parties or even for money. Please give us a like and please subscribe for more video lessons in the future. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.